clue. Now watch this. He has a struggle that everybody in here deals with. Man, I gotta get out of here. Y'all, I should have told you to put an extra 20 minutes on that. Everybody in here, if we don't finish, we'll talk about it next week. Everybody, I promise you, we get out of here. That everybody, I, I smell fish nuggets. That everybody in here, that everybody in here, Sister Kennard, deals with. ASAP says, truly, God is good to Israel. What else does it say? Even to those of a clean, some translation, your translation, of a pure heart. Lord, have mercy. That simply means to work circumspectly, upright, uh, righteous in the eyesight of God. Can I just teach it real quick, Sister Samuel? In the eyesight of God. Watch this. He has prominence. He has prestige. He has position. And all of that has given him just a little bit of power because he's the chief, a chief leader. So folk have to follow him in order for him to lead. And folk can only follow the one who's leading them. Are you in here? Because you can't have ooh, more than one hand. Y'all missed that. Are you in here? There's only one hand. Hey, Sam, it's here. He, 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 he's doing what he do. But, 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 he looks at a problem. This problem is, 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 is internal. He says, truth of God is good. Even those who are pure heart. He says, but, you got your Bibles open? As for me. Y'all missed that. As for me. As for me. I have a problem. Now watch this. You have to be careful, brothers and sisters. Because he's the leader. Somebody's watching him. Somebody's following him. He could have easily stepped outside and went to somebody else about his problem. Come on, help me in here. He kept it internal. Are you in here? And sometimes, brothers and sisters, you need to learn how to keep your own problems to yourself. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to, but, but, but ha, ha, everybody don't need to know your struggles. Everybody don't need to know what's ailing you because you too can cause other folk to stumble and fall. And Asaph says, as for me, huh? I can tell you about myself because I've been living with myself for a mighty long time. And the only person that knows me better than myself is the Lord God Almighty. As for me. Mm -hmm. My steps got short. Uh, my knees started to buckle. Are you in here? I, 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 I got troubled. I got antsy. Are you in here? And my and based off of what I see externally, it caused me to get upset internally. Y'all ain't got to say man. I know I'm preaching. Let me talk to the saddle here. What I see externally has caused me to get upset, to get mad, to get angry, to get caught up in my feelings and be bamboozled by my own internal emotionalism. Because I cannot understand how wicked folk doing better now, God, I'm in church. It's right there in your Bible. Keep your Bibles open. Keep your Bibles open. I'm in church. 
Come on, y'all. He's a huh? He's a leader in the church. He, I am trying to serve the Lord. Look at your name. Say, keep it in context. Watch this. Trying to serve the Lord. Trying to do what's right. Trying to please God. Trying to put a smile on His face. Come to church. I pay my tithe. Give God the best of my service. And I'm still struggling. Seems like I take 10 steps forward and I get knocked eight steps backward. Anybody ever been there? Huh? Pay my tithe, God. You told me to give it and I still get a pink slip. God, I went on a day to fast. I fasted. Huh? Stuck to it. And I still get a bad report from the doctor. God, you told me to take that no good person on my job. Turn them over to you. You told me to stand still. You told me not to fight the battle because the battle is yours. And they still got a promotion. They still living better than I am. They're still driving cars better than I drive. Their kids seem to be faring better than mine. And here I am trying to serve God with holes in my shoes. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Overdrafting the account to pay tithes. You ain't got to say it, man. Just look at it, man. Know who I'm talking to. Huh? Trying to serve the Lord. And it seems as though God does not see or if he does see, he does not care. Look at the text, look at the text, look at the text, look at the text. It would seem, I mean, it would appear. I mean, when you read the text casually, uh, Deacon Nelson, it would appear that God is just an absentee God and that God is not uh, intertwined, interwoven in the affairs of his children. But all of us know that God is always actively, actively involved in the affairs of his children. Why, Pastor Dawson? How do you know? Because God loves me so much that he sent his only son to die for me. Well, come on, help me here. Huh? And if he could do that, surely he knows my down sitting. You know? He knows my uprising. He knows my thoughts are far off. God knows what makes me tick. He knows what makes me talk. He knows what makes me smile. He knows what makes me frown. He knows. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, God knows. And God knows because God is. <laughs> he says, he says, he says, he says, he says. He says. He says, I'm envious, I'm, 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 I'm upset, I'm upset because these folk are prospering. Yes. And I, my life, when I measure it to theirs, does not compare. <laughs> and if you scroll down to verse number six, keep your Bibles open, you'll discover, watch this, Asaph said, guess what? God is seen like an Dawson Isaac for you. The more you bless them, the crazier they get. Look at, look, at, look at verse number six, it's right there. Huh, huh, huh? They, they, the, the, the more you give them what they want, the more foolish they get, the more prideful they get, the more arrogant they get. Come on, help me in here. And you know you have some folk in your nearby proximity that God has blessed, that God has made ways out of no ways, and you find yourself putting your life up against theirs, and you're wondering why in the world is God opening up doors for them, and he seems to be locking the doors on me. That's when you sing that song, it's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. <laughs> Standing in the need of prayer. He said, listen, God, the more you bless them, the more crazier acting they get. Huh? They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't call on your name. They don't lift you. They don't worship you. They don't magnify you. Now, God, I know who you are. And when I opened up the song, I said, God, you are good. And you're still good, but I still have a problem. God, I need you to fix this thing for me. Because only you can make this thing right in my mind. 
Because when I look on the surface, it's hard for me to hear you based off of what I see. Anybody ever been there? And your eyes can start playing tricks on you. And your mind will gravitate to what you think is right. And you will adopt the mentality or the idiotic mindset that if I can't beat them, I'll join them. Well, I knew it was going to be a quiet. See, there ain't no reach up, naming and claiming message right here, is it? Anybody ever been there? Yes, sir. Any transparent folk in the building who can touch my past? I've been there. I've had some times in my life where I've actually struggled looking at wicked folk get a new leash on life. How in the world can a wicked man who drink his liver down to the quiver and he still get a transplant? And we got a 13 year old baby. Oh, y'all should have been here last Sunday. That was pulled from the transplant list. But somebody right now who never called on his name, never stepped foot in the church house, gets a new leash on life. God, help me. Because I struggle. Huh? And my theology can affect my theology. Huh? You keep looking through the wrong eyes and you'll follow the wrong stuff. And now you